What's good, YouTube? You already know it is that boy Triple N. We're back for another car reaction video, and I had to do it. Like, I've just been in the generous car talking mood, and that's not the reason why, but it's literally because of the, Ign the at Ignis cards. Uh, I hate the name. Like, Ignis I'm fine with, but I hate that it has that little at symbol. But I guess it's supposed to be cyberistic. I don't know. But I do love this deck. I have been into the show for a bit, and, um... I can't wait for this deck to drop because I really do want to build it. Because uh, y'all know I love building the anime decks. But let me go ahead and let's start talking about it. This is going to be like probably a little bit of a video because there's a lot of cards to talk about. So let's first talk about Pykery at Ignis. It is a level 4 light cyber effect monster with 200 attack, 600 defense. And you only can use its card name first and second effect once per turn. If this card is normal summon, uh, normal slash special summon, you can add one. AI spell a trap from your deck to your hand. You can target one at Ignis monster you control. It becomes level four until it is turn. So this can really help you with your. Uh, I mean, this can pretty much help you with anything, but you can help you with your X Y Z plays, your synchro plays if necessary. So this is actually really good. I really like it. I think this is. You probably have played three of all of them, but I don't know. I haven't read the rest of them, but this one I think you most likely would play a three because it's a searcher. It's literally a searcher for your spells and traps, so that's that's the cool off the that's like good at the top. That's good off like that. I wish his attack and defense was like I wish his attack was higher or whatever, but you know how cybers work. You know they're they're all about you know making those links and whatever summoning you can do. So let's go ahead and continue. Um, Buruu Buruu at Ignis is a level three win cybers tuner monster. This is the tuner, I like that. This is attack, 600 attack, and 1,000 defense. You only can use its card, first and second effect uh, card name, one turn, you already know. This card is normal slash special summon. I love that it has the whole normal or special summon. It does things, I like that. You can send one Ignis, at Ignis monster from your deck to the graveyard, so it lets you send cards to the grave. Some more utility, you already know. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a cyber synchro monster, you can target one monster in the graveyard that was used as material for this summoning. Except Buru 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 at Ignis, especially so pretty much when you synchro summon using this another monster, you summon the other monster back. It'll let you it'll let you combo your plays. Um so that's actually really good. <laughs> Let's keep going. This is the dark one. This one is Doyon. Doyon Doyon at Ignis is a level four dark cyber effect monster with four hundred attack, sixteen hundred defense. You already know you can use this card name first, second effect once per turn. This card is no one special, so you can target one at Ignis Monster Gray or add to your hand. So this is, could be really good with the um I guess this could be utilized with this. So you could use this, send it to the grave, and then summon this one and get it back. So that's actually kind of good. This they could combo off of each other. If this card is sent to the graveyard as a material for a cyber slink monster. Uh, you can target one eye, spell, spell a trap in your graveyard, and add it to your hand. So this gives you much. This gives you a lot of recovery. And this card itself is all about getting stuff back from the graveyard. So this is really good. Um, next card is uh, I Chi Chi I Chi Chi at Ignis. It is a level two fire cyber effect monster with 800 attack, 800 defense. You only use this card. This card's first, second effect once per turn. This card is normal slash special summon. You can add one level four or lower at Ignis monster from your deck to your hand. So this one you're most likely going to play three of. I think this one's really, this one really, you really, really going to play three of this because of the whole. It's your searcher. You summon it, search. That's that's good. That's just good. Like it's just like the spell and trap one. You might play two or three in that one. This one you're gonna play two or three. This one you're gonna play multiple numbers of these, literally because this is the search. Uh, that's pretty much what it needs to do. It does what it wants to do. Second effect at the start of the damage step, when a cyber's monster you control battles, you can banish this card from your graveyard and destroy that monster. Wait, wait, wait. At the start of the damage step, when a cyber's monster you control battles, you can banish this card and destroy your monster. Uh, why do I want to destroy my monster? Well, you can just go there and destroy your monster. I don't know why I would want to destroy my own monster. That's kind of weird. But uh, I'm going to move on because I don't like that second effect. I'm just going to act like that second effect is not there. Um, let's continue. Now we're getting to Doshiru the Ignis. It's a level 1 Earth Cybrace effect. Monster with 100 attack, 800 defense. And he uses first second effect once per turn. If you control. And at Ignis Monster, you can special summon 
this card from your hand. So that's kind of cool. You can target one Cyber's Link Monster in your graveyard or turn it to the extra deck. And if you do, add one I Love Fusion from your deck to your hand. So this lets you help you get this to the fusion spells. Um, because this deck can XE, Synchro, Fuse, and Link Summon all together. So that this one is literally just utilized to get to that card. So you probably only play one or two of this. Probably won't play that much. But uh, I don't know. Actually, you might play three because it can special summon itself. So that's always good. Um, but yeah, I like this. This is the special summon itself. It's level one. You can get some combo play started. Um, the next card is Hayari, the at Ignis. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of notifications. Um, it has 3, 300 attack, 400 defense, so 3,000 Gs. Uh, you can use these cards first, second, effect when you watch turn. If you control at your dis monster, you can switch some of this card from your hand. So it does literally like the Earth one does, so that's kind of cool. Um, you can tribute one other Cyber monster at tribute one other Cyber monster add one level five or higher at your dis monster from your deck to your hand. Also, this card becomes level four until the end of this turn. Then, if you tribute a Link monster to activate this effect, you can add. You can add one eye ritual from your deck to your hand. So this this helps you get to the ritual. Uh, this deck does ritual summon as well. And this one, this card right here will help you with the ritual. So you probably would play. I don't know how many of these you play. Because they both have that effect to where they special summon themselves. And special summoning themselves effects are always good. So that's actually kind of cool. And here is the ritual card that I was just speaking of. This is Water Leviathan at Ignis. It is a level 7 water cyber ritual monster. It has 2300 attack, 200 events. Um, you can only ritual summon this card with eyes ritual. Um, you only use this card second effect once return. If this card is ritual summon, you can return all monsters you're under control with 2300 or less attack to the hand. So that's good to bounce. It does a target, it just returns. That's always good. Um, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, return. Uh, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls return as many link monsters as possible from your graveyard to the extra deck and if you do the target becomes zero that's okay I can actually that's got I can dig it so it gives you some type of recursion and you literally can lower your opponent um, um, lower your opponent's uh, monsters attack which is good uh, the only such thing that it targets but I mean that's fine uh, it's third effect once for da uh, damage calculations when this card battles an opponent's monster. You can have your opponent's monsters attack during the damage case one only. So, um, when this swing, you automatically can have a monster. So that's actually kind of scary. Um, if you make it zero, then they won't, they won't matter. But if you couldn't, you, um, they always have to have, what is it? They would always have to have a monster that's like over, so it's 23 double 23 is 46 so they would have to have a monster that's like 47 over to not worry about this but that depends it's it's situational but that's actually a really cool effect i like it all right on to the next card it is a fusion monster it is earth golem at ignis it is a level 7 earth cyber fusion monster with 2300 attack 200 defense it takes one cyber monster and one link monster uh, you can only use this card's name, third effect, once per turn. Um, you take no damage for the rest of the turn after this card was fusion summon. So, the, start, the turn it's summoned onto the field, you take no damage. That's lit. Um, if this card attacks a monster, special summon from the extra deck, it gains attack equal to the original attack during the damage calculation. So, this can become really big um, if, they, if you battle. Just the fact that if you battle something from the extra deck, you can really do some things. Like, you can really get through anything with this, per, per se. You, like, um, it depends if their monster has gotten any boost. But if they just summoned a big beast and you didn't give it no boost, and they summoned it from the extra deck, you can literally just summon this and you can get over it. Um, start effect, when this card is destroyed by battle, you can target one cyber monster. You can summon it, except Earth Golem at Ignis. You can summon it, so that's... That's lit as well. Um, it has a recovery, but it sucks. It only does it by battle. I wish it would have said by battle or opponent's card effect or whatever, but that's fine. Uh, the next card is a Cyber. It's the Synchro. It is Wing Wind Pegasus at Ignis. It is a Wind Cyber Synchro monster with 2300 attack, 1500 defense. It uh, takes only one tutor and one nod to the monster's generic. You only can use its first, second effect once turn. 
During your main phase, you can destroy any number of spell traps your opponent controls up to the number of at endless monsters you control. <coughs> That's actually kind of dope. It's kind of like um, Stratos' second effect. I think Stratos had that effect to where it pop cards equal to the number of other heroes, but this one does it for every at endless you control. So even if you just summon it, you can still pop a card. Um, but if you have a bunch of them on the field, you could pop a good number of spell traps, which really can hurt your opponent depending on what deck you're playing against. Um, if this card is on the field and or your graveyard, and another card you control is destroyed by battle or opponent's guard fate, you can banish this card to target one card your opponent controls shuffled into the deck. Um, I like the fact that it says if it's on field or graveyard, and another card you control is destroyed destroy by battle or your opponent's guard effect. Um, so it's like, it's useful on, it's like you could do this on field or grave. So let's say if they get rid of it in the graveyard, you know, hey, you know, you know, something you got, hey, you lost something. So let me banish this. Let me banish myself and you can just take out something else on their field. <coughs> it sucks that it targets, but like I said, sometimes it has to target in order to be too much. Um, but on to the next card, we're getting to the spells now. This is a field spell card. It is the Ignis I A I wait, AI Land. It is a field spell. You can use this card second effect once per turn. If you control no monster, your main monster zone, you can special summon one level four or lower at Ignis monster from your hand. And for the rest of the turn, you cannot special summon monster, another monster with the same attribute or effect of same attribute with the effect of Ignis Land. And you cannot special summon monsters except for Cyber monsters. That's not really a um. Uh, <coughs> my thing is, hold on. If you control no monsters, you may monster you can special one for a lower at Ignis monster from your hand. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cast special monsters. The same attributes, the effect of the. So you can do this multiple times. Is that what they're saying? Because it doesn't say once per turn. It just says as long as you don't have one of your main monsters on. So that means could you summon multiples? I need to figure that out. Someone let me know in the comments. If you could, that this means you can summon, you can continue to do it. So as long as you don't summon the same one, or one with the same attribute, you should, you could really keep doing it over and over again. As long as you don't have none to make monster, that's actually kind of lit. If that's what that means. Second effect: If this card is your graveyard, you can banish one at Ignis Monster Graveyard. Set this card on your field, so it has its own recovery. So that's kind of cool. All right, on to the next card. We have AI Del Reborn. It is a quick play spell. You only can use its first and second effect once per turn. Target one at Ignis Monster Gray. I suppose something there for the rest of the turn. You can, after this card is already, you can ask for some monsters. Except Cyberus Monsters. Okay, during attack declaration at, at a battle between two monsters, you can banish this card and one card from your hand, but target one AI spell shot from the graveyard amongst the banish the card, except a reward added to your hand. Um. I was just reading that I did not understand any of that. Um, during the attack declaration of battle between two monsters, you can banish this card and one card from your hand. I'm trying to lie, yeah, so So pretty much, during battle, during battle, you can banish this card and one card from your hand and target one. Yeah, so you can go through one of the banished cards. So you can just add a card there to battle. That's what that's okay. That's really weird. And this this just, just happened. I don't know why it does that. All right, let's go back to what we were talking about. My bad about that. I don't know why when my phone does that. Well, I don't know why when I click on it, it does that. Okay. The next card we're talking about is I Love Fusion. It is a normal spell card. You only activate this card once a name once turn. Fusion of one cyber fusion monster from your action deck using monsters you control or have in your hand as material. If you are using a, a Ignis monster as material, you can also use one link monster your opponent controls as material. So pretty much it's it's like a super poly, but if you it's like regular poly for any deck, but if you're using the main card, you can use your opponent's stuff. So that's actually kinda cool. It's kinda like fusion of fire. Kinda like that. And then you have Eyes Ritual, which y'all know does the whole summoning the ritual. Tribute and at Ignis. Um, it's a ritual spell card. You can tribute at Ignis monsters from your hand of field whose level equal up to the, or exceed the level of the ritual summon. 
The ritual summons one ritual cybers ritual monster from your hand. If you control an Ignis monster when you activate this card, you can also banish an Ignis monster from your graveyard instead of the tribute. So pretty much if I have some in the grave and I have an Ignis, I can banish them instead. Just a classic ritual card if you're going to make one for a deck. So all overall, I like it. There is more cards, but I think I talked about the XYZ like a while back. Um, but I like the, I like this archetype. I've been loving it. I'm kind of mad that this is the only enemy. This is the only enemy deck they've made. They haven't made no other enemy deck, and I know a lot of people be like, "Well, what about Revolver?" Well, he was really an enemy. He was like the anti-hero. You know how the show goes. He's like the Kaiba of the show. We're talking about main villains, if that makes sense, because they haven't made um, Bowman's deck. And I think was the Light Ignis's deck. I'm kind of upset they never did that. I'm hoping they do in the future, but. Konami does what it wants, but I'm actually looking forward to this coming out. So when this drops, I'm gonna try to get it. But um, I like these cards. Let me know what y'all think about these cards in the comment section. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me of any of these cards, and uh, hit the notification bell if you want more card videos. Like, just like I said, let me know if you like this this archetype because I really do like the Atictus, uh, the at the Atictister deck. It's just I hate the name. That's all. But that's the end of the video. Peace.